And now to Imo State, where the new partnership for Africa's development wants media and civil society groups to set up, step up campaigns against violence ahead of the November 11 governorship election in the state. Speaking at a workshop in Oweri, Nepad National Coordinator Gloria Akobundu said, only a violent free election will encourage good governance in the country. Prince Uba has more. Imo. Kogi and Bayausa states will on November elect their new governors in an off-season governorship election to ensure a free, fair and credible polls. The new partnership for African development, NEPAD, is here to create awareness on peaceful poll. The coordinator of NEPAD, Gloria Akobondo, who is represented here, says peaceful election remains vital for good governance and development. The aim of this workshop is to create awareness on the management of democracy and build a positive mind set, set for all Nigerians in the electoral process. I am glad to inform us that this workshop brought together experts and relevant stakeholders to examine causes, effects of the electoral violence, and suggest ways to eliminate violence during the election. The military in Imo State is ever ready and will ensure that sanity provided in the Imo State election that is coming up. I want to appeal to politicians and their supporters to embrace peace and conduct themselves within the ambit of the law. For Governor Hope Uzodima, who is also represented by his deputy, is calling on politicians to play politics according to the rules. The governor urges the law enforcement agents and the electoral umpire to ensure strict compliance to electoral laws. The role of the security agencies is very critical because they are the ones that ensure that there's law, that the rules are respected, and that there's peace at the levels, at different stages of election hearing, and particularly on election day. Those politicians who spend their time planning to disrupt elections by using young people rather than going out and conversing should not get the respect, should not get the votes of our people. As the preparation towards the poll gears up, security operatives must collaborate in its efforts to stem the tide of insecurity, contain the threats posed by non-state actors and desperate politicians. Prince Oba. CVC News, Oweri. And in Oyo State, a federal lawmaker is appealing to the federal government to focus more on energy development to complement its recent policy on food sustainability. Senator representing Oyo Central Senatorial District, Yunus Aki, today made the appeal when he paid a costly visit to the Ulubado or Balikon Balugu. The lawmaker who commended President Tunubu's recent effort to mitigate the impact of fuel subsidy believe that enhancing electricity and other energy sources would facilitate industrial development. Food security, but it's complementary. You have to address energy poverty by the time you are addressing food security as well. So energy security and food security, they go together. And I'm sure that's why the president for addressed the issue of energy. And I want to ad uh, advise further that the government should look towards providing uh, subsidy on electricity.